Hey everyone, um, for all you Linux MCE fans out there, just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of what I have here. Um, I won't be showing too much on how, uh, how the setup goes, but pretty much just what I have here so far. So, um, as I move down here, I'll show you my uh, case, and this is my core slash hybrid uh, PC, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good case. Um, it's uh, one of the best I could find for the price, and it's um, overall pretty good. I had a couple of uh, problems setting it, setting up the little case here in the bottom, but nothing major. Um, as I open it up, you can see the inside here. Um, I have a one DVD drive. I have a one terabyte um, hard drive. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM, DDR2, and uh, an AMD processor. Um, I went online for, on the wiki page and uh, tried to find one of the best motherboards I could find for the price, and uh, this is it. It's one of the ASUS motherboards that they showed, ASUS motherboards uh, that they showed on the, on the wiki page. Um, on the back here, you can see I have uh, two NICs. Uh, one's used for internal use from D uh, for DHCP from the core, and one uh, uh, for outside outside use, um, I couldn't get this one to work. Um, I need to figure out how to do that on the wiki page. Um, and um, the main reason why I got this motherboard is because it has an HDMI uh, connection here, um, which is works really really good. Um, this board actually has the the graphics card um, integrated, so that's really really good. Um, some other things that I have here inside, I have a a gyro mouse um, that I also saw on the wiki page, and this actually works pretty good. Um, some a couple of bugs here and there, um, but overall works pretty good. And I have here uh, a Z-Wave controller that actually works really, really good. And this is actually all you need to control um, lights and other things here. Um, so I'll show you how to use that in a bit. Let's move on to my switch. Alright, so here we are. Um, let me show you how my switch setup looks like. So if I get up here in the attic, you can kind of see what my switch looks like. Um, it's a 16-port switch, and um, pretty much all my uh, all my network cable going to different parts of my house. Really can't see it that well, but um, it's this is your main uh, part of your networking if you're going to have your entire house with home automation. Um, so it's it runs pretty good so far. Um, no no real problem with heating and cooling up here, so that's, that's been a really good. Uh, um, let me get down here. Um, you can see this uh, patch cable here coming out um, actually goes to my drop that I did over here in the kitchen and um, right here. And um, temporarily I just have it going to my uh, Linksys router here, um, which is the one that controls my orbiters and some other stuff I have up. Um, nothing major. Um, I have a screen here that's not really in use right now, but um, hopefully I get that run up and running. And I can, as you can see here, I was working on another Z-Wave controller here, Z-Wave switch, uh, which didn't work out as planned, but let me move on to um, the actual system itself. Alright, so uh, we're here back in my living room, and um, this is my setup that I have so far. Um, just basically my, my receiver on top, which is an older receiver, um, and my core on the bottom. I currently have just regular analog audio coming through um, until I update my surround sound, but um, so far it works really good. So I'll fire it up here. And as you can see, there it goes. Um, and it should be coming up here pretty soon. And yeah, there it is. Um, if you can see here on my back of my TV, um, once I have everything set up, I have um, pretty much all my power, cable, and my network drop in the back here, so I can have um, a thin client, a thin client here when um, I get this core out of this room. Um, but um, I have uh, some audio jacks here that um, pretty much go to some of the speakers I have in the room. Um, some here, here, and there. Um, so I'll, I'll uh, fast forward here to when the system here actually comes up. Let me just show you real quick on how it looks when it's, when it's booting up. 
and there it is booting up. Um, this takes about a minute or so to actually get to the actual OS itself. So um, let me fast forward here to the actual system itself. All right, so here we are. And as you can see, uh, Linux MCE is starting back up. Um, hopefully it'll be up and running soon. Um, so you can see the core down here. Um, this is Linux MCE version 7.10, the latest stable version out there right now. Um, as you can see here at the bottom, I have um, the Linux MCE 8.10 uh, DVD, um, which looks very promising. and. Um, want to just throw a thank you to to the uh, the the programmers for that are creating the 8.10 release and um, there we go so it's up and running let me go ahead and get my my gyro mouse here and as you can see it works rather well it does what it's supposed to do um, this mouse here sometimes has some bugs here and there um, when it comes to playing a movie it'll sometimes freeze but um, overall it works pretty good let me go ahead and show you something here. Um, let me go down to some different here. As you can see, um, everything works quite well. Scroll down here. Some good. I'm going to show you guys. And I'll go ahead and play a uh, Terminator here. And here's when it kind of freezes sometimes, but hopefully it won't freeze. And no, this time it didn't. So um, there it is. This is actually a HD Blu-ray Blu movie, so as you can see it works really good. Audio plays automatically. I can go ahead and raise, vol the, raise the volume using the same mouse. And uh, raise the volume up and down. Or lower it down if I want. So that works really good. So um, I'll move on here.